Alright, yo, what is up, you guys? It's snappy, and we're back with another video. Um, I'm gonna be um, giving you some tips how to go high rounds on BLP zombies on any map. Um, okay, so as you can see, I'm in the rising drop. It could be whatever map. And how do you want to go high rounds? How do you want to get to like round 50? Um, what, like, guns and like perks are like the main things to go high rounds, and probably players. Like, I just found random players, they're not so bad. Like, Maybe you guys not so bad even though we got nine down. But or if you're going solar solo and you need to help or whatever, like like help going high rounds because you can't go high rounds for some reason. Um it's simple, you just need some good weapons that you like that is really fast and like you know. So I have the Brecky. I have the Brecky with me and I have the HBK. Um you know, um the Damn. bow, the bow, whatever. Um, I have the HBK because it's a good weapon, or like the ICR, the Dingo, any of those weapons are good source. weapons. And I recommend you to use those weapons, like, but like the Great Cons, like, it's good, I love it, I use it, but like, for going high rounds, eh, it could be, like, even though it's like a one shot kill for high rounds, but it's only like one bullet, so you could spray and pray, and like, but like, if you spray and pray, there might be zombies behind you and like aim, you know. So I recommend you to like use one of the shotguns, like the Haymaker KRM um, or the Brecky. And then like for perks, for perks, oh my gosh, I can't talk right now. For perks, you should use Juggernaut, of course, your main perk, Speed Cola. You don't have to get speed cola because like if you use a weapon like the brecky or the um whatever other weapons you use that's good for you um you can use but just use fast mag you do not have to have speed cola if you have fast mag on your weapon already um you could get juggernaut speed cola and i always recommend you to get widow's wine it's helpful because if there's like a whole bunch of zombies if i get trapped Right, like, say I get trapped right here. Look, I'm gonna just get trapped. Oh, uh, no, okay. Well, if I, if you guys get trapped and you have Widow's Wine, as soon as you get trapped, it, um, the Widow's Wine, like, activates and it freezes all the zombies and then you can get out of your way and free free. So I recommend you to get also Widow's Wine. So we have Jerk, Widow's Wine, or speed cola. Um, I recommend you to get double tap faster, faster for the brecky and like other weapons. So I recommend you to use that. Um, and final perk: if you're solo, use quick revive, of course. But if you're not solo, I would say use uh, I don't even know, stamp it up so you can run faster or. Cherry, cherry blossom, electric cherry, I meant, electric cherry, because when you, like, if you don't even have a bow or, like, none of the special weapons, just use your weapon, and when you reload, they kill you, they, um, it activate, activate, and, um, you know, oh, you see, look, the Widow's Wine just helped me, I just got trapped, but then, um, I didn't die, so the widow Wine does come in handy, but yeah, so, um, if you have Quickaholic, so that's even better. Buckets. You might survive much more longer. Um, like, like if you're trying to go high rounds on Shima, like Zetbu, no Shima, um, whatever that map is, it's hard. It's well, it's hard for me. I only got to round two. But like those maps and like Garad Kobe, I haven't tried it, but I've seen people play it and they say it's hard. So, like those maps, um. You gotta play really good. You're but like Revelation, the Rising Drop, the Rising Drop is really easy because you have the bows, and that's that comes in handy for high rounds. I got to round 50 on here, and Seriously? Revelations, I got the Apocalypse Servant and the Apocalypse, whatever you call it, Apocalypse Servant and the Thunder Gun, and I used the Brecky, which got me to round 60. Yeah. So use those perks. I'm gonna say it one more time. It's Juggernaug. Um. Oh wait, no, 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 no. All right, instead of the stamina, use mule kick.
get two of your favorite weapons that you don't if you get a down and you don't care about like one of the weapons like oh i love both of these weapons they're both be good for me right so like i don't really care if i lose the brecky or the hvk i don't really care because i could get it back because you see how much money i got but i recommend you to get mule kick because what if you run out of ammo and you don't have cash back or like you're not on the what is it called um the rising drop and could use the tram i i would um get mule kick so some people say oh no i don't get mule kick because i lose one of my weapons well don't get mule kick if you if you only have one favorite gun and you have what you have one favorite gun that you always use but then um when you get mule kick you have um a second favorite gun but you don't want to use lose the first one don't just don't um get mule kick so so those are the main perks that i should um you should get um but if you don't if you want more perks and you don't have perkaholic just use uncrunchable i'm using uncrunchable however you say it. i don't know if this i'm saying it right enough. and yeah um no, yeah and self medication is really good for going solo so i recommend you to use those because i just got it down but then i kept all my perks and yeah so that's tips how you could go high rounds on bo3 zombie if this guys if this helps you a lot guys chop that like button i made that up or eat that eat chop eat whatever um chop that like button i'm gonna just say that. chop that like button and if you want more tips like this or anything else just comment down below and subscribe hit that notification button and i'm out peace Gotta stay low when the night stay cold